All right, well, I got this in the mail yesterday. It should be my Terraflex uh, high lift jack mount that fits on the Terraflex um, hinged heavy duty tire carrier. Um, so, could have used this last week. Last week was my off road trip to S'more, Southern Missouri off road ranch down in Seymour, Missouri, where we did the um, Jeep Jamboree. So I didn't, I did not have a um, place to mount the high lift jack on that side of the Jeep. So it clanged around inside, but we didn't use it, so not a big deal. So it's a different design. It used to have a, uh, a foot pad at the bottom for the high lift jack, and this one actually um, allows it to uh, to make the amount adjustable for what size uh, high lift you have. So you can mount it really low or up higher to check out that. Uh, it's got the So, we'll see how that works out. So this just gives instructions on how to install it. I think the hardware is in the bottom of the box. Now I'm not sure I'll need to get this installed anytime really soon because uh, for one I think the high lift jack itself would make the Jeep too tall to fit in the garage and so I might actually put the mount on there but not the high lift because obviously I'm going in and out of the garage every day one of these days I would forget and um, tear up the garage door probably so um, probably install the mount but not the high lift on a daily basis unless it actually clears the garage door I've got about uh, uh, four or five inches from the top of or the bottom lip of the garage door and the top of the Jeep so we'll see if that actually works Here's a picture on the internet. It used to look like this uh, over here on the left. We used to have a base plate where the uh, high lift jack actually fit into the bottom. Um, from what I hear from other comments on the web, uh, this particular uh, new version of the mount, which is right here, actually um, is a little bit more sturdier and uh, it allows you to. Uh, to mount the jacket at various heights. Um, I don't know why you would mount it any higher than it needs to be, uh, mostly because it's a um, hang-up point when going off-road if, if it sticks up too high above the top of the Jeep. So I would think that you would want to mount it as low as possible. So I purchased it from Quadratech.com and it was that price there, 93.09. Uh, they were back ordered for a couple weeks. I ordered this a couple weeks ago and it just shipped um, earlier this week and arrived yesterday on Thursday the 15th of June. So this is the um, high lift jack mount that goes on the uh, Terraflex HD hinge 
with a tire carrier. I'll show it better in the daytime, but I wanted to kind of show you what it looks like installed on the hinge. I've got the CB wires run. Okay, so these three bolts go there, and then there's one with a spacer here on the back side that goes in to the bolt that's in the carrier already. So I wanted to record the TerraFlex accessory mount for the high lift jack. Uh, so one on my TerraFlex hinge and it's the new uh, design. It doesn't have the uh, base plate as before that the uh, high lift used to sit on. Now it's just a one kind of a L-shaped design uh, but right back here right behind this bracket there is an actual bolt that goes into the hinge goes actually into the body actually through the hinge into the body and then these three one here one here and one here are what goes into the actual hinge itself um, it's got these uh, spacers between the actual bracket for the high lift Sorry, my neighbor's mowing. Uh, but I went with the Patriot Edition um, high lift jack. Uh, mostly because it was blue, not because it's anything special. Um, and also support the troops. Because uh, I think high lift sends a portion of that to um, troops. But uh, yeah, it works great. Um, it took only about five minutes to actually install. I think the biggest thing with the install that I had the issue with was just removing the spare tire because I have to get the weight off the hinge itself to mount the bracket. Uh, so just removing the spare tire, uh, putting it on there, um, actually took about five, maybe ten minutes to install uh, the accessory mount bracket to the um, Terraflex hinge. Um, it also has two holes in the very top here for uh, a CB mount which I have one and then um, they offer an additional hole here in the back uh, to maybe mount a flag or, or some other um, antenna so it's nice it's got the two mounts um, I've not bought the Rotopax bracket which um, of course you can use to mount Rotopax onto the uh, onto the actual jack itself. Um, may buy that at a later time, but the jacket uh, barely fits. It's about uh, 49 inches tall, but I have about 50 and a half inches from the bumper the bottom of the garage door so it fits so <laughs> won't have any issues with needing to remember to take that off to pull into the garage I would have to agree that the new uh, accessory mount design that goes on the uh, Terraflex hinge actually is is a lot um, it's pretty beefy pretty sturdy um, a lot of people say it's a lot more sturdy than the uh, original design and I like it of course it comes with its own uh, Terraflex badge and <laughs> I'll just remove this one because I don't really need to on the back but I might leave it, it actually looks pretty good with both badges on there um, but uh, I like it I'll have to give you an update uh, after it's been on there for a while